Thanksgiving is quickly approaching and as you might have been following along, I recently had surgery and I'm not quite up to par. So I've decided that it is time that the kids help out with Thanksgiving dinner. So today we're gonna be sharing a lot of recipes and easy Thanksgiving recipes that kids can cook mostly on their own. All right, our first chef of the day is... She chose this, this recipe all by herself. So Evie, what are you cooking today? Egg salad! She insisted on not having deviled eggs. So this year we're gonna be having egg salad. So let's start cooking. First, we'll need all these ingredients. Smoked paprika, onion, celery, some mayo, Dijon mustard, and eggs, of course eggs. First up, we boil the eggs. I will be making the non-alcoholic cider because I don't drink alcohol. Let's start, so it calls for some apple cider, apple and orange for garnish, orange juice, and ginger ale, and then cinnamon sticks. So we have a big pitcher, two quarts apple cider. 12 ounce frozen orange juice, so this one is 12 ounce. One quart ginger ale, then we're gonna do Four cinnamon sticks. One, two, three, four. A sliced apple. <laughs> One sliced orange. A whole stick, one, two thirds. I'll wash my hands. And while I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna, oh, just imagine life as it was. We need a bigger bowl. You like knead it together to try and make a ball. No, 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 don't wash it. You're not trying to like, can I try? Break it apart, okay? Sure. Me? I did. Good luck. Wait, where is my ball? since we got into a ball. So we didn't film this, but once you get the cream cheese into a kind of good form, you like hollow out the middle, put about half a teaspoon of uh, liquid smoke, and now it smells amazing like smoke and barbecue. And now we're just putting nuts on it. We put it in saran wrap. And now we refrigerate. Today I'm making cranberry sauce. Here's our ingredients. Just need a bag of cranberries, one orange, sugar, cinnamon. Combine all ingredients into a saucepan and simmer for 20 minutes. When it's simmered, it's gonna look like this. And now we get to taste it. Tastes pretty good. Now it's ready for a Thanksgiving dinner. After we boiled the eggs, we peeled them, and then I chopped some celery and some onions. So first you mash the eggs, and then you put some celery in it, and then onions, and then mayo, and then Dijon mustard, and a sprinkle of paprika. If you want the recipe, we'll link it down below. Our egg salad is going to be like a dip. We'll put it into our serving bowl and then add a sprinkle of paprika. That way you can serve it with crackers. You sprinkle a little paprika, and then I like to eat it with my favorite crackers, Triscuits. Okay, everybody, this Thanksgiving dish is the easiest one of all. Yam casserole, sweet potato casserole, or candy yams. All you need are as many or large marshmallows, it really doesn't matter. Half the can of yams and brown sugar, and of course, something to bake it in. 
we are going to glob a couple of slices, a couple slices of butter. And now, I think that's enough. A little sprinkle of cinnamon. Couple spoonfuls of brown sugar over. After putting our yams, our brown sugar, cinnamon, and butter, now we get to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. But after it's baked, we put the marshmallows in. Favorite thing about Thanksgiving is eating the cheese and crackers off of the Shaku 3 board. So today, I'm gonna show you how we do it. So the first thing you're gonna need is a regular cutting board, some cheese, some crackers, and some cured meat. I like to slice my cheese into small squares like these. And then we're gonna lay it out around the board. Like so. We're gonna put all this yummy meat in the middle. We put the crackers on the other side of the cheese. Sometimes the messier, the better. And now, here we are done. A simple Shaku 3 board. Sometimes we buy fancy cheeses like Brie or Wookport, but this is just a simple one. I hope you guys like it. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. After we baked them, our yams are soft, and now time to top with our marshmallows. Make sure to use adult supervision when using the oven. Put the marshmallows in and bake for five more minutes. At 350 degrees. Mmm la la. La yama. If you guys want to know how to do these, click on the link down below. They are amazing! What? Get out of here. You're not allowed to eat this food until it's dessert time. Today the kids had lots of fun making Thanksgiving meals. And these are easy meals that you guys can have your children cook. We'll put all of the recipes in the description below as well as you can check out even more recipes that are easy for your kids to do on theohanaventure.com. Um, and I hope you guys like this because I'm excited to have lots of helpers for Thanksgiving dinner and give out assignments so that I don't have to cook all day long. Um, thanks for hanging out with us today on The Now Mom. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.